Hi, I'm Sachin. Welcome to the Snakes and Ladders show brought to you by the great Unicorn Hunt. This is a show where we invite young, ambitious startups and their founders uh, so that they can share stories about the pitfalls, about the upsides, about the snakes and ladders they faced uh, you know, during their life cycle uh, as a startup founder. It's very interesting because most of the time one starts by a certain assumptions of what is going to be easy and what is going to be difficult. But this show is going to extract from the founders the real scenarios that they experienced. So we are going to get into a conversation today with Alok, the founder and CEO of Old Sold, who has created an interesting business from what is perceived to be an unorganized market of refurbished cell phones and electronic gadgets. So over to Alok. And the first question that I'm going to uh, ask Alok is, hi Alok, welcome to the show. Very interested in knowing what exactly is Old Sold all about? So Old Sold is something very, very close to our hearts. Old Sold is essentially in very simple words, aapko confidence deni ka hamara zariya hai ki aap refurbished be fikar ho ke kharid sakte hai. So hamara motto ye hai ki buy pre-owned be fikar by refurbished Befikar. So Old Sold is here to build trust in the sector of used mobile phones and laptops specifically and in general overall in the industry of refurbishment. Very interesting, Alok. How did you really embark on this journey of Old Sold? What were the building blocks uh, that you put in place? Let me put it like this, that not everything was planned for in the way it looks like. Uh, but I wouldn't even have the drags to riches story, you know, so it's somewhere in between and I'll tell you where the whole thing goes about. So, when I was with my childhood, I was three months ago, I was with a person who motivated me to go fast. Everybody would walk in six months. My, that gentleman wanted to walk, me to walk in three months. And he sent me to my house. When we were big, when we were learning, we were learning. तो सब जब टेंथ की वेकेशन आ गई तो हम तो मारवाड़ी हैं घर पे तो बैठा नहीं जाता तो बोला क्या करें खेल कूद में टाइम वेस्ट करने से तो क्या ही होना है माइंडसेट वैसा था तो किसी की दुकान पे चले जाते हैं दुकान पे गए सीखा मोबाइल फोन्स की दुकान थी तो वही आता था वही समझते थे वही काम कर रहे थे फिर ये कंप्लीट हुआ तो फिर हमने हमारी एमबीए और मैनेजमेंट की पढ़ाई चालू की तब प्रोजेक्ट्स कर रहे थे तो और कुछ समझ नहीं आता था समझ तो यही था कि क्या करना है तो हमने फिर से उसी चीज में हम मोबाइल फोन के अंदर ही और और प्रोजेक्ट्स करते गए और काम करते गए और ये जेंटलमैन एक्चुअली मेरे मामा जी हैं तो कई लोगों के मामा कंस होते हैं बट हमारे मामा जी ने बहुत प्यार से हमें बड़ा किया और साथ में उन्होंने ही एक्चुअली फर्स्ट वाज अ मेंटर टू मी एंड देन नाउ अ पार्टनर इन बिजनेस एज वेल सो दैट इज मुकेश भाई एंड सिंस माय होल अपब्रिंगिंग वाज मोबाइल फोन्स या दैट रियली मेड अस Uh, made me very comfortable with phones and i was always very passionate about mobile phones you know they would funnily call me a brand ambassador of nokia in my management days because every project would one or the other ways be about nokia or mobile phones in that sense so yes that's how the journey has been essentially where i have been wanting to do mobile phones uh, over a period of time alok i was very curious to know how you discovered your pain point kab pata chala कि इस लैंडस्केप में इस बिजनेस में एक बहुत बड़ी बिजनेस अपॉर्चुनिटी छुपी हुई है ये एक कहानी है जो मेरी तरफ से है बट इसमें इस कहानी में एक थोड़ा सा ट्विस्ट भी है तो मेरे साथ में मेरे जो को फाउंडर है ना और उनकी जो जर्नी कहीं पे हमारी लिंक होती है बट किस तरीके से होती है जस्ट वॉन्टेड यू टू काइंड ऑफ शेयर दैट सो हम एसेंशियली हमेशा से मोबाइल फोन रिटेलर्स रहे हैं एज अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल तो नोकिया प्रायोरिटी डीलर्स जब थे तब से हम काम करते हैं इसी इंडस्ट्री में तो पेजर्स भी बेचे हैं मोबाइल भी बेचे हमने सब You know, as a group of people. So, when our whole industry was getting into official, so there was nothing cash that was there in the whole industry because mobile phones essentially moved to become being official, and everything was grey market was dying down, and everything was official. But there was one segment in our industry that became cash, still remained cash, and that was the exchange because everybody had a new phone. They were selling their old phones and buying new ones, but that old phones didn't find an entry in the official system. or uh, this created a lot of problems uh, at our end because we were a very officially driven company so hum chahte the sab kuch officially ho and in that phase uh, mukesh bhai my partner my mentor he said alo can you try and do something around this mobile phone industry and uh, used mobile phones where we can try and sell them 
uh, in official manner. So we started off doing that whole thing. So, uh, you know, where we were trying to make, how, how do we come closer to the intention of making mobile phones official? I started off with a brand called Old Soul, not with an intention of making it a brand, but a separate entity. And I started doing it. Suddenly, when we were doing our experiments and pilots, we realized that this is much more than just a small part of a business. This can be a business by itself. It's highly scalable. So that's what we, our intention was. To how can we make it so scalable that it can be India's largest you know, uh, defining platform for people where people come and trust that brand so much that they can buy it. So that's essentially been the journey from retail over here. Alok, do share something about the industry size. India mein kitne cell phones refurbish hote hai? What do you think is the market size of the industry that you have stepped foot into? Uh, I'll take that question in two parts. Right? The first part is, let's size the market. Uh, ki kitna bada hai. Uh, and second part is, ki what is our goal in that? So, Hindustan mein kareeb 100 crore log hai. Mota moti log dead saal se do saal mein phone badli kar dete hai. But hama humare ek sizing estimate ke liye apan teen saal pa karte hai. So, हर साल 33 करोड़ फोन 100 डिवाइडेड बाय 3 33 करोड़ फोन आपके आ गए हर साल मान लीजिए 50% इनफिशिएंसी मान लेते हैं कि फो, वो फोन रिसाइकल मार्केट में नहीं आया आपने अपनी वाइफ को दे दिया बच्चों को दे दिया आपके फोन के ऊपर से गाड़ी निकल गई तो इट्स वेस्ट इट्स नो नो यूज तो मोटा मोटी स्टिल 16 करोड़ फोन आपके पास में फिर भी बच जाते हैं ये 16 करोड़ फोन अगर हम 2000 रुपए से भी मल्टीप्लाई कर लेते हैं तो 32000 करोड़ रुपए का मार्केट है now this essentially means 3 4 5 billion dollars of market it is an essentially a very large industry so different estimates put it anywhere between a 2 billion dollar to an 8 billion dollar and roughly growing at about 15% per annum this is at the macro level and all of this is currently happening there is nobody no need to create that market the problem is all of this is happening either in cash or let me call it in the unorganized manner so we are here trying to organize this industry. So today, if I can give it to Sachin and his co-founder's team to use a phone without having a look at it, thinking again, ki, why should I buy a new one? It becomes fantastic for me. So my intention is to make sure that small and large companies, you know, every individual starts using a refurbished mobile phones. So, and the second bit of the answer. Now, what is our intention over here? Our goal is to make sure that if we can convert the 25% of the new sale to refurbished sale, I think we would have achieved our goal. Not only me, actually it is India who would have achieved its goal uh, because she is going to be pollution free. She is going to be e-waste free and the environment that our coming generations live in is going to be that much better. Uh, just to give an example, such a one iPhone produced, uh, made new, actually produces 80 units of carbon. And that's pretty large. And this is apart from the mining and, you know, all the losses that happen. So our intention is to make the world more a better place to live in for our coming generations as well. But more importantly, in the short run, to make sure that all the people can buy refurbished without any worry. Dusri baar sochna nahi pade ki ye juna hai ya ye purana hai. Ye refurbished hai, ye perfect hai. Aap andar se perfect hai, bahar se perfect hai, befikar ho ke khari diye. Ye hamara intention hai. Alok, as you know, the whole show is about snakes and ladders. Why don't you tell us a little bit of some of the snakes that appeared on your horizon, on your landscape when you set up uh, and started doing the business? And how did you go about addressing those uh, snakes? Now we have done a job that I don't want to say that there are obstacles. Uh, but yeah, there were no obstacles aise bhi nahi the ki they were a setback saying that we don't want to do it. We always took all of these in our stride to make sure how can we go ahead. यार सचिन सबसे भली क्लीशे आंसर साउंड करेगा बट जो हमारी जर्नी में जो हमें सबसे ज्यादा तकलीफ दे गया ना वो था कोरोना सो कोरोना वाज समथिंग दैट वी डिडंट प्लान फॉर डिडंट राइट इट वाज आवर बेस्ट पीरियड दैट वी वर ग्रोइंग 3x ईयर ऑन ईयर वी हैड ऑलरेडी ग्रोन 3x फॉर द लास्ट 3 इयर्स सो वी वर 9x ऑफ वेयर वी वर एंड देन वाज दैट सडन ब्रेक वी वर वेरी स्टिल वेरी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक यू नो एंड इनफैक्ट Sachi Bataun, to as founders, we didn't even realize it that it is going to give such a big impact to me that it is going to take me like three years behind in my journey. So, uh, and all of that impact actually started hitting our books and bo bottom line uh, close to about one and a half, two years later. So I think if you ask me the biggest obstacle that we faced per se, one was Corona. Uh, this was a major one that everybody faced. But what if somebody, you know, if a new founder is wanting to understand what do I do and how can they improve from where we are, we didn't plan for theft. 
सो दैट वॉज वन ऑफ द अदर थिंग्स सच्चाई है कि देखिए हम मोबाइल फोन में डील करते हैं मोबाइल फोन इज नेक्स्ट टू कैश यू नो कि उतना इंपॉर्टेंस है और इमीजिएट कैश हो जाता है तो डेफिनेटली हमारे यहाँ पे कुछ चोरियां भी हुई वी लर्न इट दी हार्ड वे तो दैट वॉज वन दैट वॉज अनदर थिंग दैट बिकेम एन ऑब्स्टिकल दी अदर वन वॉज वी हैड अ फायर इन अवर बिल्डिंग फॉर्चुनेटली इट वॉज नॉट इन माई बिल्डिंग बट दैट टाइम वेन द फसिलिटी के ऊपर एक मेजर फायर हो गया एंड द वॉटर दैट द फायर इंजिन यूज टू कूल डाउन द प्रेमाइस एक्चुअली एंटर्ड अवर प्रेमाइस एंड डिस्ट्रॉइड आवर प्रोडक्ट सो इट बिकेम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इट्स नॉट ओनली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड इट बिकेम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट्स नॉट ओनली द एक्सटीरियर एंड एवरीथिंग दैट यू कैन प्लान फॉर इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू प्लान फॉर दीज नेचुरल कलामिटीज और आउटसाइड योर you know uh, things that are outside your control for them as well because they became the real obstacles than anything else so alok you must have experienced a stroke of good luck jise hum ladders kehte hain exactly what kind of ladders did you experience and what was the reaction you had at that point of time so it is right now when i look back it looks like an incident actually but uh, my mom always says you know the fortune favors the brave so if you are going to be there at the right time at the right place uh, it's going to be really helpful and this was i think way back in i think about 2017 18 uh, hum barely pure mahine mein hazar phone ka hamara target tha karne ka right hum kar rahe the 100 150 phone uh humne start hi kiya tha and we came across this opportunity with amazon now this company is what i call as a mad company after working with it i am highly impressed with their processes uh, their systems their way of scaling up things and doing things in a market where supply was so constrained i spoke to the amazon team and matlab unka jo bhi model tha jis tarike se kharidte hain so they needed us to put money in advance in their system so i asked them how many you know phones can you give us so and we by that time thought because hum retail se aaye the to hame laga ki hum kafi acha kaam kar rahe hain 100 150 phone 200 phone bhi mahine ka kar lete hain to acha hum aara mara top hai hum to unhone kaha aapko ek hafte mein bataiye kitna phone chahiye maine kaha aap bataiye aap kitna de sakte hain they said we can give you 1000 phones a month a week I said this person on the other side is thoda mad. Hazar phone kisi kehte hain yar? Matlab it's too much. But hum bhi hamari to usme the humne kaha chalo done. I will take it from you. You know if you can give me thousand because we thought they cannot. Sachin, we put the money in the system and third day we had thousand phones and we were like overwhelmed saying that what I want to achieve in the whole month I am getting that material because my industry is supply constraint, not demand constraint. and that became like a big thing that partnership during the 17 18 that we went through and from there it was like you put money and you know khali balti dalni aur ek well mein se pani nikalna hai utna material matlab you think of it and the number is there i think that partnership really made it very well for us so that's one sachin and quickly i would like to say that the other thing that became like a luck for us na sachin sometimes uh, one ek 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 एक प्रॉब्लम आपके लिए एक बहुत बड़ा अपॉर्चुनिटी बन जाता सचिन सो द प्रॉब्लम वी वर फेसिंग वॉज इन बिकॉज आवर अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम वो टैली बिकॉज उसके अलावा और कुछ आता नहीं था वी सेट कि हाँ टैली में हम वैसे ही धंधा करते हैं उतना तो आ ही जाएगा उसमें ही कर लेंगे बट हमारा धंधा बहुत ही पेक्यूलर था तो टैली वॉज नॉट एबल टू सपोर्ट आवर बिजनेस लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक सीरियस इन्वेंट्री इ मूवमेंट ऑफ इन्वेंट्री एंड अदर थिंग्स अराउंड दैट सो वी हैड टू स्टार्ट मेकिंग समथिंग बाई आवर सेल्स तो एक्सेल स्टार्ट गिविंग अप एंड देर फिर हमने थोड़ा सा ऐसे किसी बंदे को पकड़ा और बोला चलो यार पीएचपी में कुछ बना दो तो उन्होंने कोड करना चालू किया सचिन टुडे दैट क्यू लाइंस ऑफ कोड इज एसेंशियली माय ईआरपी टू ग्रो एंड दैट इंसिडेंटली हैपेंड अलोंग सो इट इज नॉट अ प्लैंड फॉर लक बट एन अनप्लैंड फॉर लक व्हिच रियली मेड इट ऑसम फॉर अस एंड वी कॉल दिस एज डेक्स व्हिच इज आवर इंटरनल ईआरपी व्हिच इज हाईली स्केलेबल एंड राइट नाउ विल सपोर्ट अस टू ग्रो इवन 20 टाइम्स फ्रॉम वेयर वी आर without any major efforts alok you are uh, familiar with the riskiest assumption test wo list of all the risks that could perhaps hit and destroy the business aur usme generally aise mana jata hai ki jo uh, row item first rehta hai wo bahut dangerous rehta hai like a black swan event could wipe out the business and maybe serial number 2 3 4 and 5 are perhaps less severe can be addressed and you know perhaps something that the founder needs to keep in mind aapke business mein aapke riskiest assumptions test mein kaun se sare cheeze appear kar rahi thi so uh, your question is absolutely you know fantastic for new people who are wanting to start as well in my industry and there are hundreds and thousands of my fellow entrepreneurs who are there such an uh, 
one of my biggest fears when i start use uh, be, uh, being in this industry is what if mobile phones today become the calculators of tomorrow so essentially you are throwing a calculator right you don't go and figure out ki can i get a price for a calculator you just kind of throw it off so that is definitely one of my biggest fears that if mobile phones become kind of commodities which are invaluable to people then obviously my business is at big risk uh so i don't see that happening anytime soon though but if you ask me from an rat perspective i think that becomes like the top of the line the next one is that we are very passionate about a concept called right to repair so mobile phones today essentially are not products which are per se repairable but still they are repairable or refurbishable but there can come a time when essentially they seal the phone in a way you can't open it they in the sense the brands uh and they don't want you to repair the phone so today the governments across the world are fighting for a right to repair but if india never has a right to repair or the reverse that you can have an anti repair policy kind of a thing i think that will be the second kind of a rat that we'll have to kind of figure out the third can be in my industry if i can think of is something what do i what do you call as a compliance risk you know essentially we are in the e waste business uh if there is any kind of a compliance that happens on the uh, environment front so these are not regular compliances not like your gst income tax tds wo wale nahi these are those compliances which can be potentially harmful for the environment uh, obviously there are steps and processes that we have the sops that we have but i think that's when where we can kind of look at the other one uh you know there is still imports are not allowed in my industry if there is something happens around that it might have a favorable or a negative impact in my business but that depends on what the policy is going to be so refurbished imports are essentially not allowed over there and uh, i think the last one i think such as if brands tell me that you can't use my name to sell the product so if for example i can't call an iphone 15 and iphone 15 maybe that might become like the biggest of my problems but yeah, essentially these are the top ones that come to our mind and a lot of them we have been trying to mitigate with sops and others we are trying to solve as soon as we can So I look every founder as you know has that one thing that makes him want to come to work jump out of bed what excites you the most as the old sold uh, founder point number 1 affordability india is on a digital curve aaj aap dekhte hain har cheez otp otp ke bina kuch bhi nahi hai right and the next thing is everything is with an app so the governance is going to go digital payments are already digital matlab your lifeline is going to be digital and mobile phones are the gateway to this digital lifestyle this digital revolution we are in the sector where we can give every indian where in the whole pyramid the bottom of the pyramid to top of the pyramid phones which are affordable i think that becomes my primary concern that we are at that cusp where india is a value market we can provide that kind of products second such in that something that drives us is sustainability uh so like i explained to you we uh, you know the india of tomorrow is going to be highly focusing on something what we call as uh, circular economy so hindustan ka jo concept hai na sir brahma vishnu mahesh wala one is a creator another is a destroyer mythology mein kaha gaya hai destroying is important but hamare brands use nahi kar rahe hain so the government ne sabke gala pakad liya hai they have got an epr they are saying that it's very important extended producer responsibility ke andar aapko har ek cheez ko jisko bana rahe ho use khatam bhi karna hai and we are that very important cog in the wheel in this whole circular economy the sustainability sachin that is what really drives me to come to office every day and sachin lastly you know what really motivates me to come is that hamara ek sapna hai sachin hamare jitne log hamare sath kaam karte hai na sachin we want to make their lives better than what it is i want all of the people who are associated with me to have a house of their own and finish their home loan emis because we have seen such in people who have their houses and people who stay on rent you know there's a big divide in that that really motivates us to come and make their lives also better so on the customer front and my employees front because this is my a team you know such in they have supported us in the weakest times that we were there and this is what i want to do for them that if we can get each of them a house of their own i think we would have achieved what we are really wanting to do very interesting Alok, what are the things that you thought were really very easy to crack, and then turned out to be like big monsters, and some that you were really apprehensive about? बहुत डर लग रहा था, लेकिन बाद में जब पता चला कि जब आपने शुरू किया, तो वो तो एकदम easily solve हो गया. 
तो इतनी सारी चीजें में मजा आता है और इतनी सारी चीजें सरप्राइज कर देती है कि मार्केट किस तरीके से बिहेव करेगा सो आई विल सो आई विल पुट इट लाइक दिस क्या हमारे अजम्पन्स थे जो रॉन्ग हो गए और क्या ऐसे हमारे अजम्पन्स थे जो अलग तरीके से हमारे फेवर में रॉन्ग हो गए राइट सो आई एम आंसरिंग इट फ्रॉम हियर सो दिस इज द आंसर क्या सवाल है सचिन मजा आ गया तो मैं आपको बताता हूँ सचिन इतने टाइम धंधा करने से हमें क्या क्या चीज पता चली है तो सबसे पहले तो हमें लगता था यार ये हम ऑनलाइन बेचना चाहते हैं राइट सो वी वॉन्टेड टू कॉल आवर ब्रांड एज ओल्ड सोल डॉट इन वेन वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ यूर लाइक कोई खरीदेगा भी ऑनलाइन कि नहीं खरीदेगा दो चार मतलब कोई एक आध दो आदमी भी मिल जाएंगे कि नहीं दैट्स वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ सचिन टुडे वी हैव ओवर टू थाउजेंड रिटेलर्स हुर अटैच विथ अस एंड वर्क विथ अस इन अ डिजिटल फॉर्मेट इन वन और दर वेज एंड वेन आई से डिजिटल बिकॉज माई यू नो ऑडियंस इज सो वाइड स्प्रेड उसके अंदर आपके वो व्हाट्सएप वाले लोग भी आ जाते हैं तो मेरी वेबसाइट वाले लोग भी आ जाते हैं बट एसेंशियली एवरीबडी इज रिमोट so every corner of india people are uh, kind of wanting to buy products so we thought can even if we get 10 in the beginning a bahut bada number hoga so from there we are at 2000 retailers with a network i think that really kind of helps us the other thing such an i think is uh, when we said ki social media pe hamare ko log nahi milenge matlab because hamari industry mein kaun hai jo bina aise dekhe khareedna chahega such an it surprises us at the cost at which we get kind of leads is even my marketing agency is surprising that itna kitna logo ko mobile chahiye you know you put out an ad and there is a cut 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 those responses start hitting in so those matrices like really change the way we kind of look at this whole thing you know so this became like those things ki yaar ye to bahut hi difficult hoga but it really became easy for us uh, thankfully because you know word of my word of mouth was good एंड हमने अभी तक कोई मेजर पैसा खर्चा नहीं किया मतलब इट इज इन फ्यू लैक ऑफ रुपीज इनिशियल फ्यू लैक्स ऑफ रुपीज एट वी स्पेंड ऑन मार्केटिंग सो दैट्स एसेंशियली नेग्लिजिबल फॉर द काइंड ऑफ हंड्रेड करोड़ प्लस टर्न ओवर दैट वी हैव बीन एबल टू डू ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो इट्स एसेंशियली बीन वर्ड ऑफ माउथ बट दैट रियली हेल्प दूसरे साइड पर सचिन सोचा था कि है क्या ट्रेडिंग है ना माल खरीदना बेचना है मारवाड़ी है हमेशा से तो कर रहे हैं अभी भी कर लेंगे सचिन पता चला ये ट्रेडिंग नहीं है It's not like you can just buy and sell. हम नए मोबाइल फोन बेच रहे थे बट पता चला जूने मोबाइल फोन एक अलग ही दुनिया है तो जैसे मैंने शायद पहले बताया था कि हम वो टैली जो यूज करना चाह रहे थे ना सचिन वो टैली भी नहीं यूज कर पाए और हमारे हिसाब से दुनिया का सबसे बेस्ट सॉफ्टवेयर पहला टैली दूसरा एक्सेल दोनों ने हमारे हाथ जवाब छोड़ दिए हाथ में नहीं आए तो हमारे को पूरा ईआरपी बनाना पड़ा सचिन मतलब वॉट वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ एज वन लाइनर today has lakhs of lines of code to make my processes and systems easy so that's i think is one big big thing another is you know like hamare ko laga ki kya maal lena hai bechna hai to maal rakh denge bech denge such in that warehousing process that we have to make it is looks like i have a proprietary warehousing system today you know sometimes in fact jab hum humne jo process banaya wo bana itna time laga use banane mein but when it went well even large online players and i can't name them but these companies actually had come down to us to have a look at our warehousing process in this industry to take some kind of a, i wouldn't say learning but at least knowledge sharing in that sense so that really became like a pat on our back saying that humne kuch to sahi kiya in terms of our technology so hamara business na bahut hi operational heavy is what we realized so great operations set it apart from what we do great discipline in inventory is what we realized is that we need to maintain now not something that we thought initially so uh, yeah i think these are the major differences ki what was very easy and what was very difficult in in our journey alok if i were to request you to share a word of advice for the young founders out there what would that be uh, since i also teach you know at wellinkers and uh, my 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 motto that i really want young people or first time founders to do is what i call as karke dekho maza aata hai आपने कोई भी आइडिया सोचा है ना पायलट करो और पायलट करने में पैसे नहीं लगते इंटेंशन लगता है तो इतने कई लोग आते हैं कहते हैं हमारे पास पैसा नहीं हम पायलट नहीं कर सकते आप पेन पेपर से भी पायलट कर सकते हैं टू मेक द बिगेस्ट इंडस्ट्री मेरा पॉइंट ये करके देखो मजा आता है अलोक थैंक्स अलॉट फॉर शेयरिंग द ऑसम इन वेरी वेरी कैंडिड यू नो एक्सपीरियंसिस दैट यू शेयर थैंक यू सो मच आई एम श्योर द व्यूअर्स are going to love every piece of information that was shared and are going to benefit immensely from your wisdom i think it was fantastic talking to you i think kudos to your team of what you are trying to do i think this show i hope 
reaches to every nook and corner of the country to every individual who is wanting to start a business or wants to grow their business i think your team is doing a fantastic job and i'm very very sure of the success of this good luck keep it up sachin thank you so much for having me on the show you just heard what the founder had to say about the snakes and ladders that they faced in their journey but sometimes founders by the proximity that they have with their business may tend to overlook certain snakes and ladders that are likely to surface miraculously or unpleasantly in the journey ahead what we have done is invited three leaders from the startup ecosystem who are going to share their perspective on the landscape and some of the snakes and ladders that the startups need to watch out for kyunki ye kisne kaha hai ki saap seedhe sirf do logon se kheli ja sakti hai snakes aur ladders mein to bahut log khel sakte hain aur isiliye humne aise diggaj logon ko bulaya hai aur dekhte hain ki kya aap jo snakes aur ladders is startup ke liye imagine kar rahe the kya wo mail kha rahe hain apne investors aur hamare guests ke view point se so now let's have a look at the investor stake before i introduce you to the guests we are also going to have a look at the actual experience that the customer gets when he or she gets an old soul phone delivered to him or her hello everyone today i'm going to be unboxing a second hand phone that i ordered from oldsoul.in well the packaging looks good they've sent the invoice which i've received digitally as well let's open this bag this is the box in which mobile is packed what's lovely to see is that they're using a box made out of recycled products guess what guys the box contains another box i'm loving the layers of this unboxing experience okay So now we have three cards inside the box. On the first card there is information about warranty and has gone under 40 parameters check. The box contains mobile, charger, USB and a SIM ejector. On the second card they have written thank you for being a reuser and they have given their QR codes for their social media platforms. On the third card they have explained that when you receive the phone it would be switched off. So to charge the phone they have also provided little information. as well as how to sustain the battery for longer use that's amazing now let's see the most important thing which is the phone the phone is bubble wrapped there are no scratches on the body or display color is not faded overall the condition looks good they have provided a sim ejector attached in the divider they have also provided original compatible charger and cable for the phone let's see if the charger works wow it works it is working and there are no lag or any type of display issues Overall I'm really happy with this. The product is great, the packaging is top notch. I highly recommend this company to other people that are looking to buy second hand mobiles. I would recommend you to go to oldsoul.in and check their website and order if you want to use second hand mobile phones. Bye. Welcome back. The investors we have invited today for the show are very very eminent leaders from the startup ecosystem. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Mr. Devang Mehta. a seasoned leader and an investor a venture advisor and venture partner with antil ventures our next guest is mr anil siddu a super angel in his own right somebody who is a gold member and a member of the selection team uh, at ipv and our third guest is watsal kanakia ceo of 100x vc perhaps the youngest ceo in the investing ecosystem a warm welcome to our guests Devang having looked at uh, the old soul uh, scenario what is your assessment about the landscape that old soul has stepped foot into well it's obviously a very sizable market and one that will grow grow larger with uh, the aspirations of the middle class in india and uh, the size of this middle class uh, will also grow uh, in lockstep with india's gdp growth so i think they've hit upon a very interesting opportunity so true Watsal uh, my question for you is the same one that I asked earlier what is your take on the landscape uh, that old soul has landed itself into it's a very interesting market sachin because the market actually definitely exists and it's growing rapidly um specifically what we've seen is 
more and more users in india want premium phones uh, in I, I i believe um, india is the fastest growing market for iphones in the world today um, and that is also what is driving the secondary sales market for uh, mobile phones in india right um, and uh, it's it's definitely a very good market we've seen companies like cashify me and uh, blue birch come along in this market you do need to have your operations sorted much before you can enter in this market but it's it's a market where there's a lot of money to be made absolutely anil ji coming to you would like to hear from you as to what your take is about the landscape that old sold has got into a very interesting landscape as a matter of fact uh... I think this is one of the emerging area that they have put their foot into. You see, we have something like six hundred and fifty million active users of internet and phones in this country, whether we like it or not. So earlier, it used to be your feature phones, and then all those feature phone people, thanks to whatever the usage of your net banking and stuff like that, those feature phones will now get replaced by the smartphones. and the smartphones of 3g 4g variants will get replaced by the latest 5g wala things so automatically all those consumers would need the at the end of the day they would need something which is at the low cost that's where these people come into play they want what do you think are some of the pitfalls some of the snakes that the founders may have ignored or need to watch out for I think they need to capture beachheads rapidly to a point where there is strong brand recognition as well as recall. Uh, they will have to build moats uh, to fend off deep-pocketed uh, competitors that might attempt to enter enter the market pretty aggressively. And what do you think are some of the upsides, some of the ladders which the founders may not have considered, but they should certainly look out for? Well, I think they have a very good traction early, so they've done a couple of things uh, really well. Uh, pretty early on in their growth trajectory now they need to understand how they can growth hack uh, in the next phase of their evolution in other words they need to build a company dna by which they can grow the company 10x while retaining basic first principles like profitability and unit economics anil ji we spoke about this but i'm sure our viewers would be interested in hearing from you about your take on the snakes that you think the startup faces yeah that's it see if you are looking at a situation where you are trying to get the let's say for a, let's take an example of i want to replace my handset i am residing in rural india i want to replace my handset and i cannot afford because the average income is not as large as actually is what we are paying so i need something which is low cost say at around 4 or 5000 the moment this large corporation like xiaomi oppo and all these people come out with the low cost solutions even samsung has a low cost smartphone module the moment they penetrate it and you are not having that market in india per se per india you don't have that market that is the only area way of concern otherwise there is no area of concern for me as far as i can see as i see it. and what do you think are some of the ladders that the founders should absolutely be looking out for we need to look at the market of africa africa is a very large market where please understand that the 5g is still not available in that part of the world for whatever reasons technology not in place or whatever reason you will have to understand that 8512 consignments left this country last year totaling a volume in excess of 5 billion dollars on second hand smartphone market very simple let's not get into any other thing you have got so many consignment that left this country collecting all this old smartphones so that is a huge market so these people have to concentrate on that area if they are able to think in that dimension yes they have got a good market rebrand themselves put a brand for them instead of just let them come out with a store for my What's all in your assessment? What are some of the snakes, some of the pitfalls that the old soul team may have ignored or need to look out for? I think um, you'll have to be careful to make sure you have a data-driven approach to what phones 
you onboard onto the platform, you what phones you buy and resell. Um, in our understanding and in our intuition, we believe the opportunity lies largely in the premium segment, which is where both the margins and the quantities exist. Um, certain phones, which are like budget phones, while you can buy them out, but you will not, um, you know, gain as much value. And second would be as a snake, you'll have to be careful about um, the operations, right? The operations have to be very, very um, well thought out uh, because reverse logistics is not an easy um, process. It's very, uh, there's like a lot of moving parts. And so there's a lot of points of failures that can come about, including, for example, cash collection or distribution at the end point to you know, uh, damage during transit of the product, uh, faulty checklist during collection of the product, and so on and so forth, right? Um, so operations have to be sorted very, very well uh, by the founders before they go live. What's a, what do you think are some of the upsides, some of the ladders uh, that the team needs to look at and perhaps leverage or monetize in the near future? Yeah, I think, again, uh, while that could be a snake, it's also a ladder. The rise of demand for premium segment also creates the opportunity to sell more pre-owned devices because users want premium devices and uh, having owning primary devices or new devices is costly uh, and out of reach for most. The second opportunity comes in that um, with the rise of uh, credit on UPI, with the rise of BNPL, etc., more and more people now have the financial ability to afford these devices through credit. Um, so that's an excellent ladder and uh, those uh, options should be enabled for sure. Um, and the third uh, ladder, I think, is the uh, the rural opportunity here, right? Um, a lot of this demand for pre-owned phones is going to be tier three, tier four and rural onwards. Um, and I think there's definitely a story to figure out a focus there. That was awesome. Any word of advice uh, for the old soul team? What we've seen is um, with these businesses, the toughest part is actually making a profit. Your economics have to be on point. Um, many companies come into this, make it you know operationally heavy, etc. But then eventually they're just not able to make money on a per device basis. Uh, right, so even the contribu contribution margin is not positive, let alone let alone at a con co company level. Right, so uh, make sure your economics work, make sure your math works. Um, uh, don't go into discounting for sales, and that's going to happen because uh, Old Soul has a B two B model. So those retailers might try to uh, arm twist um, Old Soul into you know giving discounts, giving bulk orders, this that whatever. Uh, but you have to hold your own and hold your price and only then will your economics work. I think that's the most important bit of this business. Anilji, what is that one piece of advice you would like to share with the old soul founders? Yeah, yeah. I, I, let them have a proper collaboration with all the aggregators of these old phones. They have all this collecting wala, old exchange wala, and all that. So let them have a proper network of People who can bring those things, they must have their own retrofitting area. Let them retrofit it. And there's a whole lot of value addition in that industry. That is what I feel about old sold people. If they can think of having their own retrofitting arrangement, having their own re-engineering facility, collecting points from across the world, across, sorry, across the nation. If they're able to do it, nothing like that. It will become the billion dollar industry. Believe me. Day one coming to you, what's your advice going to be for the old soul team? Yes, I think uh, they should bring on investors and advisors that have uh, helped uh, similar consumer brands grow exponentially in India. Uh, this will help them in their growth journey in, and hold them in good stead. And at the same time, while they embark on this new uh, uh, growth curve, uh, they should not forget the basic principles again of growth and profitability because these are increasingly important in India today. They want any word of advice for all the founders out there who are watching our show? Yeah, so I think the days of irrational euphoria are over in the Indian uh, startup ecosystem. Markets and investors are taking a very fine-grained look at each startup, uh, the pedigree of the founding team and their business model. 
Having said that, there's plenty of dry powder in India for the right startup, and a lot more is coming on account of uh, numerous factors, including geopolitics. So it remains a great time to start and build a company in India, assuming the first principles are, are in place. Anilji, as you know, a lot of founders watch our show. If you had to give one piece of advice to all the founders out there, what would that be? Do you believe hair loss is a problem? Do you agree that hair loss is a problem? Okay, all of us agree that hair loss is a problem. But is hair loss a problem for an 80-year-old man? No. They have to figure out if there is a need. Defining a problem is always easy. But they will have to also work out whether there is a need for that problem to be solved. If they figure out both the things, nothing else. That's my simple take from that. Watsal, what do you think would be that word of advice you would want to share with all the founders out there? Since you interact uh, with a lot of founders, I'm sure you have some message, some advice for them. Yeah, absolutely. I think the most important thing at the earliest stages for a founder is to have focused execution, right? Choose one thing, focus on it, and just execute efficiently and at speed. That's all you need to do. That allows you to A, pivot as quickly as possible, learn as quickly as possible, and it gives you multi many more shots at goal because you're not wasting too many resources on multiple things at once, right? Um, so it gives startups the opportunity to really find their way, find PMF and explore the market better. So just focus on one thing, one geography, one business, one revenue line item and execute, execute, execute. With this, we come to the end of yet another episode of the Snakes and Ladders show. I'm sure it must have been an interesting perspective for you to look at the kind of curveballs that the founder faced, but most importantly, the investor's take on some of the snakes and some of the ladders that had perhaps escaped the founder's attention. That's what this show is meant for. Why just learn from our own experiences? Why not interact and collect all that collective wisdom lying out there and harness it to learn from it? On that note, uh, we conclude another episode of the Snakes and Ladders show with the Old Soul team. A big thank you to the founders, a big thank you to the experts, the investors who grace the show. Do subscribe, share if you'd like to watch more such episodes. Have a great day ahead. Thank you.